keep talking about this big Florida rivalry and you can't help but think back to that historic moment two decades ago. Certainly history in the making when Tennessee knocked off Florida in overtime and as the late John Ward described it, pandemonium reigned inside Neyland. Fans, of course, stormed the field, tore down the goalpost, and in the middle of it all was Brittany Fulmer Ennen, just 13 years old at the time. She witnessed the championship season on the field with her dad. And there was now 100,000 people on the field trying to hug dad, and, and you know, I'm in the middle of it, so he just picked me right up, and security surrounded us, and we trotted off as fast as we could so trying to stay he off. was carrying me off the field yes Are you scared or just yeah this is awesome. I, I, I wasn't scared i mean at 13 you're kind of you're wrapped up in the middle of the wind and this is amazing and the adrenaline and you know all of that so i don't remember being scared but i remember him saying you know let's go now so it was it was exciting <laughs> more than anything he was moving her off that field, whether she liked it or not. So literally tucked him, her under his wing and carried her off the field. One of many stories the Fulmer girls had to share with me. I had the chance to sit down with Vicki Fulmer, Coach Fulmer's wife, and his daughters, Allison, Courtney, and Brittany. And just such a great 98 season. And they have wonderful memories. And you better believe they are looking forward to this 98 20th anniversary celebration that's taking place tomorrow inside Neyland Stadium. But they also have events taking place all weekend long. For them, it is a huge family reunion. They coached with so many different um, families, uh, really spent a lot of time together and shared those moments together. So everybody's coming back in town. You've got former players, former coaches, and of course their families, and they'll all be reunited to celebrate and relive that 98 season. We